Howdy, y'all. Hi, guys. It's Ryan. And Angela. From RNA Music. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite mom and pop guitar shop and music lesson studio deep in the heart of Texas. That's where we're at. These aren't RNA Music shirts. No. We're failing again, again at selling you stuff. <laughs> modeling our own swaggity swag. That's okay. But if you want an RNA Music t-shirt, go down in the description below and you can get uh, a link to our Teespring store, all that good stuff. Anyways, yeah. we're here to answer questions like we do every week. <laughs> Let's get to the questions. Let's do this. All right, welcome back. I'm Ryan. And I'm Angela. And we're married to each other. That's right. And we own a music store and teach <laughs> lessons and have fun every week. It's what we do. Yeah. That's our main goal in life. Have fun. Right? Yeah, pretty much. If you're new here, uh, we're going to answer some questions FAQ style. We've been doing it for a couple of years now. I think this is episode 2A. What did I say last time? Oh, gosh. I don't remember. <laughs> oh, yeah. This is like 271. Yes, that's right. It's like, I think, okay, 271 I weeks of questions. Right. If you want to binge on us, <laughs> there's... That's weird. <laughs> There's 271 episodes of us answering questions. Go check that out. It goes way back there. Like it goes six years. way back. Yeah. Yeah, way back. So, uh, yeah, we're going to answer questions. If you're uh, a long-time viewer, you know what's up. Thumbs up. All that kind of stuff. If you're new, subscribe. Hit the bell. You'll get notified of all our videos. Well, let's get to the questions. Okay. okay. First question. Kabayoff. Hashtag, no crush to strings. It's a proven fact I can't swing a dead cat over my head without hitting a guitarist where he lives. Mm -hmm. My daughter is a fiddle player and she has people begging her to play with them. Mm. Virtually any fiddler is in high demand in these parts. Same goes for mandolin, banjo, cello, horns, and drums. Is this a regional thing or do you see something similar in your area? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, there's definitely a lot of people who own guitars <laughs> in our area. Yes. I wouldn't say they all are guitar players yeah. or play guitar. Right. <laughs> there's, there's a lot of guitar there's owners. There's quite a few. There are quite a few. Yeah. We have guys come in often just, just to buy strings. Yeah, for know? sure. So they're playing. Violin know? is definitely... That is high demand. Yeah, there are not very many violin players around here. No, not any good. Yeah. Or that are versatile. So you have yeah. people who've learned learned to play by ear. Uh -huh. So they only can play certain things. They can only play with certain people. But then the ones who were actually learned when it comes Edumacated. to uh, playing their instrument, um, that is is high. For them to be able to just read music and play with anybody in any genre. Read music or play by ear. Or play by ear, yeah. yeah. To have that kind of aptitude is, mm -hmm. is pretty... Is pretty we have one student who was, she's taking guitar lessons here, but she actually plays violin. Right. She was doing violin lessons somewhere else. We don't really teach violin here. Yeah. I don't play it. Angela mm -hmm. doesn't play it. So I... we don't teach it. Yeah. And I don't have anyone locally to, I have one friend that we both know who yeah. can play very well. She's played for a long time. Mm -hmm. She would be a great teacher, but she's busy. She's a mom. Yeah. And moms are busy. Yes, right? we would you, are. Would you agree? I agree 100% with that factitude. And you, I would think that the smaller your kids are, the busier you are. Yes, definitely. But Give her about 10 years and maybe she will be able to yeah. think are about Are you less busy then, now than you were 10 years ago? Um, actually, I'm more busy because I'm busier. I'm not more busy. I'm busier now because I actually have more time to get things done that I wanted to do. So it's yeah. like I am... I wasn't busy, but then I made myself busy because I... You like to be busy. I had the time. I do like to be busy. I like to be productive, not busy. I like to be productive. There's a difference. Yes. For sure. But yeah, it's but. definitely... Violin players are very uh, few and far between here. Mm -hmm. um, same thing. Not a lot of mandolin players. No. Uh, every now and then we get a phone call, somebody calling them out banjo. Like, yeah, do, do we you have banjo it? strings? Yeah. Like, yeah, I got... Like a couple of sets, but not very often. A good test for us is like, how often do we sell? It's very, I have one older lady who comes in mm -hmm. like every three or four months to buy some mandolin strings. Right. And maybe twice a year, somebody will ask for banjo strings. So mm -hmm. there's not a lot of that. Mm -hmm. um, 
but yeah, for sure, there are there tend to be a lot of guitar players and drummers, mm -hmm. maybe slightly a less extent on drummers. Yeah. Because it's a big investment to get a drum kit and all that sort of stuff. But, right. Uh, I think guitar players certainly are the most plentiful. Mm -hmm. It's it's the most portable. You yeah. can get into it fairly affordably. Like if piano players, we have a lot of students taking piano lessons. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's it's not as portable <laughs> as a guitar is. So I think guitar is yeah. definitely the most popular. So I don't know I don't know if that's necessarily regional. Mm -mm. I think it's just I think that's across the board. It is like that. Yeah. So That's what we see. I have a violin. It's over there. It's my granddad's. He was mm -hmm. one of those self-taught playing on the porch. Yeah. You know, whatever. Not educated. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, thanks for the question. Can pay off. Yeah. Next question. Denny's plant-based journey. Hi, Denny. Uh, it says, question, Angela. I know you have heard Disturbed's version of Sound of Silence. The live performance is available on Team Coco's YouTube channel. Okay. I'm curious what you think of the vocals. Love the band, the symphony, and the vocals personally. The range, the clear, rich, melodious singing in the beginning, the power volume, growl. I'm sure there's a term for it. I kind of stepped on an overdrive pedal on his voice. <laughs> uh, we're amazing. How many years of vocal training do you suppose he has been through? And how much of it's just a natural ability and vocal cords he was blessed with? Thanks yeah. again. All right. At Team Coco, I was like, oh, it's, uh, what's his face? Mm -hmm. I went and looked at it. I had to go look at it because I hadn't seen the live version. It was, um, what's his face? The red hair. Conan O'Brien. Oh. Conan O'Brien. It was on Conan's. Oh, okay. So they did a live performance of it on Conan. Okay. There was like some string players and timpani players and all that sort of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I've i heard the music video. I just briefly heard the live version on Conan. Um, like 15 minutes ago. Like literally 15 minutes ago. Um, yeah. his He has, you can tell uh, by the deliverance of certain notes that a lot of it is natural talent. Because if it was trained, a lot of those notes will be a lot clearer and purposeful. And vowel selection. Yes, it would. It, they would. There would be elongated on certain, you know, O's and Y's, and they would just be a little bit more, you know, clear. But because he kind of is like has this unsureness about certain notes that you can hear at the back of that note, it tells me that this is just him. This is just like raw talent. Now the range and being able to switch between the two with such clarity of going from deep throat of voice to a, you know, a head voice or whatever, that takes some kind of training in order to do it with that kind of precision. So I'm sure he does get some kind of training how long he's been doing it. I mean, I'm sure whenever he became professional, whomever they signed up with, to go on tours and stuff that he probably had to hire a coach or he yeah. would not be able to survive that kind of rigorous touring and singing and performing and drinking and, you know, probably smoking or being around people who do and just that kind of not getting enough sleep. You have to have some kind of coach. It's just like having a physical, you know, uh, trainer, trainer. Mm -hmm. for you for yourself if you want to do a 5k or do something that's rigorous that you've never really done before your body's not used to doing every day so yes um, i'm sure he does have a vocal co coach you can kind of tell by certain deliverances of how he changed from then he went to his the growl the throatal you know resonating voice and then he went back up to it um, there's little certain tells that you can tell that it's like this is just him versus this is something that someone may, maybe told him to tweak a little bit. But um, for the most part, I think it's just raw natural talent for him because um, there are a few things that you can just tell by the timbre and this, this, the, the way his voice is that it's not, you know, studied, a studied voice coming from nothing from a, through a vocal co coach's, you know, training hands but someone who has the talent has the sound and they built the band around the sound of his mm -hmm. voice and 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 now he's that he's they're popular he's gotten more training to make it you, you know, gotta give some oomph you gotta keep the machine rolling when i was like we're talking big money 
big mm -hmm. record labels. There's a lot on the line. Like if you have to cancel five shows because you you shot your voice out, mm -hmm. that's a lot of money that's been lost. And so yeah. at that point, at that level, they're like, uh, you, you have to have a coach. Yeah, it would be unwise to not. Yeah. Very much so because you have to have somebody that can recognize when your voice is on the brink of breaking or um, d getting a permanent damage and say, well, well, let's step back for just a little bit here. Take this, drink this, you know, rest your voice, hum this or whatever mm -hmm. in order to soothe those vocal cords. So, yeah, I'm sure he has yeah. had some kind of training before and after performances. Because so. with the putting on the heat and the fire on the yeah on, to get the distorted what you're talking about there's ways to do that that will ruin your voice mm -hmm. and you won't be able to sing for three days mm -hmm. and then there's ways to do it where it won't damage your voice right and i'm sure he's learned how to do it in order you can you can throw on that heat and grit mm -hmm. <clears throat> but not destroy your vocal Yes. In the meantime, there's a lot of people who do it the wrong way who now they can't sing as high. Like Phil Allen Selma is one, like he's just doing it. Mm -hmm. And like he cannot sing now the same way he could years ago. Right, right. So, anyways, there you go. Thanks for the question, Denny. Appreciate it. Yeah. Next question LD Ryan, vibrato is probably the guitar technique that I work on the most. Mm. I can't stand hearing players with whack vibratos. <laughs> what are some be, 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 players? <laughs> Whose vibrato you like. Uh, Angela, please chime in as well from a vocals perspective because I, I try to have very vocal lead style as opposed to shredding. Mm -hmm. All right. So, because, you know, vibrato is a very human voice thing. I was just telling a student the other day. Yes. Because we're talking with doing bends mm -hmm. on the guitar and vibrato. The guitar is one of the only instruments, one of the very few that you can actually like do a bend. Right. You can't bend on the piano. I mean, you got the electric ones with the any, little any thingy. stringed instrument. You yeah, but even on the violin, I mean, it's a little hard. Yeah, you can't. It's not quite the same. You can't really scoop into a note. Mm -hmm. You know, from it takes below. some extreme practice. Yeah, to be now you can be you can be slightly sharp or flat like on a clarinet or a trumpet, but you can't scoop in a half step or a whole mm -hmm. step. Yeah. But on the guitar, you can, which is something that you can do with your voice. Your voice, you have all this range between pitches so it's, it's 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 an interesting thing to me that mm -hmm. with lead guitar melody guitars that you can do very vocal like things which is when you play that way that's great because that's what we're used to thousands and thousands and thousands of years of human singing mm -hmm. you know so if you can em emulate someone's voice with your guitar that's pretty good yeah. as far as uh, ones i like <laughs> first one i thought of was zach wilde he, is, yeah. he has a very like wide, wow, 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 like yeah. pronounced, like over exaggerated yeah. mm -hmm. vibrato. You know, it's like, oh, you know, it's Zach when you hear him. Yeah. And it's, it's super wide, really. And it's probably over the top. Yeah. You know, I don't know if it's good. It's okay. But you reckon it's him. I listened to his him. newest song that he has, that acoustic song mm -hmm. that he came out with. It was really nice. And his voice, it, it had just enough where it delivered it it made it sound very melodious but it wasn't mm -hmm. like oh it's a little are oh, you talking about his vocal vibrato yeah oh i'm not talking vocals i'm oh, talking oh, guitar okay. <laughs> oh wee, 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 wee. i'm talking even in his you vocal think, yeah. vocal vibrato yeah. yeah i can hear it just a little bit when he has that he can enunciate oh. better when he's singing like yeah. i don't think he's a trained singer he's just no that is a perfect example of just raw him like on the records it's okay but i watched something i watched the vocal coach react and they're like I can't because he's just like like there was no consonants you know like yeah. diction it's like what is he saying his diction was not great yeah he was so feeling obviously it. he hasn't been told okay yeah. you need to clarify this a little bit more use these vowels on these right. syllables and no, no, no. for clarification because otherwise it's like <laughs> mama you know <laughs> oh mama days <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's like what but, okay, no, but guitar vibrato is like yeah. super, you know, well, very yeah, signature. Definitely for that. You recognize it. Um, yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan is another one that sort of, I was trying to think, who, what mm -hmm. I, and immediately like Stevie Ray Vaughan. Right. Yeah. Stevie Ray Vaughan's at pop. Yes. <laughs> In my opinion, I like their vibrato. Yeah. Um, I don't like the the real short, stabby, like BB King. It's like real fast and yeah. shallow, yeah. like, which you recognize it's BB when he does it. Right. So it's recognizable, but I don't. When I do vibrato, that's not what I choose to do. Right. I don't go more, I go more Zach Nine vibrato. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but vocal, who has who has good vocal vibrato? Uh, 
Goodness. Um, the late Whitney Houston. I was about to say, Whitney. Whitney has amazing vibrata. Um, fantastic control. Yes, extremely fantastic control. To be accurate. Um, as much as I love the Josh Groban, um, <laughs> he overdoes it. Just too a little much. bit too much for me. Sometimes I'm just like, I have to tune out because it's with every, almost every single note. Like, it's too much vibrato. Any, any note that he's extending longer than two counts <laughs> has vibrato on it. It's like Zach Wilde with the pinch harmonics. Yeah, too much. It was it's, like, just like, it's just a little too much. But It's good, but it's too But often. his voice is so amazing that you can, you can overlook it. Um, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera is a little bit annoying, the yeah. Brada, because it's like so like, look what I can do, you know? And you know, it's just kind of like, uh, yeah, I, I get it. Your voice is fine without it. And she adds the woo-woos. So she has a little woos. bit of it, of, wah, 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 you know, like a wah, wah. It's just, uh, it's good, but your voice is fine without it's, it. It's too much. It's very much it's too much. It's too much. Um, and who else? Who was I thinking? Um, Celine Dion. Yeah, she has she has excellent control of vibrato, but she loves she does the Barbara Streisand type stuff. So she'll do it if she's trying to emphasize, emphasize put emphasis on it like a word or a moment before she hits the long stand, and then she'll hit a note that'll just stand for a long period of time, and then as she's turning the note down, she does the vibrato yeah. to control her voice, and that's that's how you do it. That's talent. You hold the note. And then at the end and of the then note, a little bit of vibrato. Yeah, it's not like it's just like turns it on. And then at the very end, it's like woo, yes. Whitney Houston had that kind of control, and that was just it's just like wow. I tell I tell students that I'm like now don't vibrato right away. Hit the note. Yeah, and let it then let it hit for like a second. Yeah. Then vibrato. Yeah. Like we got to hear the note first, then you can bend it, then you can do whatever you want to. But yeah. Oh man, I got goosebumps. What's that? <laughs> really From my good. vibrato. Yeah, your vibrato I was. Uh, I got. Ooh, looky there. So, oh my gosh. That's funny. Anyways, <laughs> I guess I'm getting excited about vibrato and. I guess it's exciting. Gotta go listen to some amazing. Tasty. <laughs> if you can play guitar like someone, a great singer sings. You're a good guitar player. Yeah. So. yeah. All right. Thanks for the question, man. Next question. Bubba Fang. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is more of a thought. Would hand sanitizer hurt your strings? I say I don't think so, but Gus G says otherwise. Gus G says it hurts your strings. So yeah. Yes. Um, dang it. I'm trying to watch the time. We're on a we're on time very, very time. We're very, on a crunch time. Cr very crunch. Ooh, yeah. That's even later than I thought it was. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> what time you got to go? And ten about to. ten, yeah, like in ten minutes at least. Okay. 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 As G says. Uh, sanitizer hurt your strings. You know, I don't. My gut reaction is no. Mm. Probably not. Yeah. Because certainly not as much as the oils on your hands do. Right. Moisture, and oil and stuff from your fingers. Yeah, it would hurt it. But I mean, you get stuff like Accelerate and String Cleaner, and you get stuff. Right. That's right. designed to clean the gunk and the crap off of your strings to right. make them live longer, longer mm -hmm. life. Uh, and so they're, you know, they're a a solvent or stripping agent that takes all the gunky gunk off your strings. Right. You know, um, fast fret, uh, accelerate from D'Addario is different, you know, and even uh, Kaiser has some stuff like string cleaner. Yeah. So, in my thought, if you're using that stuff, the hand sanitizer, like that's on your hands. Mm -hmm. First of all, you put it on there, and it it's takes like, about five seconds before it's gone. Yeah, it evaporates. Or less. Or less. It's just gone. Yeah. So I don't think you would pour hand sanitizer on your strings. Right. <laughs> that's I'm the saying, only like, way. Like would you would have, it would have to be like your hands are sopping wet from it, and then you immediately touch your strings, and then maybe the alcohol over time, sent you know corrodes yeah. your strings. But I don't think. Yeah, no. no. I don't think so. just did it and kind of... I got some sanitizer. We got some over there on the counter. And then I'm going to go play guitar. By the time I pick up my guitar, I'm ready to play As that. much as we use it during the day, neither one of our strings on our guitars have had any effect. I know I play more than Gus G does. <laughs> I don't play as good as him, but I probably play more. <laughs> 
baby. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> All right, that's that's what we think. You guys tell us what you think about that. Mm. Thanks for the question. And Cam Demand returns with a question. Hey. It's been a while. Yeah. Cam Demand. Hey, Ernie. Hey, Paul, as well, in the great state of Texas. Baby Demand and I still yeah. tune in once a week. Uh, <laughs> what are your thoughts on birth year guitars? I recently found a 1993 PRS Core for sale, and I'm thinking of pulling the trigger. Hashtag no crush to strength. Yes, I was just about to ask, how was Baby Demand? Baby Demand. Uh, I think you should get it. But talk to Mama Demand yes. first. Oh my gosh. As per last week's video. Is it me or does it... I feel just really old that he his birth year is 93. <laughs> birth year is 1993. Oh, man. <laughs> I was like... Now, the beautiful thing is about second. being younger. <laughs> like, it's very difficult for me to find a cool guitar from 1975. Yes. Like, I mean, there's some crappy ones out there. But, like, there's not a lot to choose from. Now, in 93, mm -hmm. there are a lot of guitars to choose from. Right, that's the truth, yeah. And they're also not probably too expensive. I've looked at, because our son was born in 2000, our oldest son. Right. And our youngest son was born in 2005. Oh, so I'm like, I can, I can find oh, a 2000, I can find a 2005 Gibson, mm -hmm. Les Paul, or even some PRSs. Something American made would be preferable. Ideal. You know, so I can find birth guitars for them <laughs> quite a bit easier than I can find for me or Angela. Right. Actually, there's a lot more 78s floating around than there are 75 for some reason, but... Yeah, or um, 77s. Why did I say 78? Yeah, no, I'm just saying, or, or there were a lot of 77s. I was like, do I have your birth year wrong? No, you're fine. Uh, I'm just saying, I remember at the guitar show that there we were a lot find. of 77s yeah. also. Yeah, 75 was just hard to find. Yeah. I think it's super cool, but I'm kind of sentimental like that. Right. Some people don't care, and that's fine. Whatever. But me, I think it's kind of it's kind of neat. I'm on the hunt for one. And one day, maybe when I'm 50, maybe my 50th birthday, I'll get yeah. myself a 1975. Oh, that'd be a 50-year-old guitar. It might be more expensive. Six years from now. Maybe, maybe. All right. I think it's cool. And if you can get one and it's not going to break the bank. Right. I think it's cool. I would, I would do it. Right. If I had permission from Baby Demand. Mama demand. Mama demand. Okay. Yeah. Not the baby. Baby doesn't get a choice. Nope. Buy a guitar right now for your baby. Yeah. Because it'll be cheap and then save it for him. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thanks for the question, Cam. Appreciate it. Next question. Walking Dead 1369. Hashtag no crushy strings. What's the song that you have always wanted to learn that gave you the most frustration before finally getting it? Ooh. Ooh. Good question. Do you have one? I have one that I'm kind of picking at right now, um, like guitar wise mm -hmm. for me is Stairway. So, cause I'm not, that's not my, like I said before, guitar is not my focus. So it takes me, you know, a little bit longer to get that together. Um, so yeah, a little bit, a little bit of frustration. And I started to play Sad But True. Yeah. So that yeah. beginning part of Sad But True. Because it's, again, it's not my wheelhouse. I just like playing chords and just chugga chugging like country More music. More strum and worship, singing. And strum and singing. Singer, songwriter. Yeah, so. And riffing. Exactly. But I thought, I, I would think that would be so cool to be able to just to play that intro, just something, just to say that I actually learned it. It so, is cool. Anyways. It's so very cool. That's mine. Stairway. Yeah. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> I don't know which one gave me the most before finally getting it. Maybe, um, yeah, it's kind of weird because we've done a lot of songs so many for songs. recitals. <laughs> so many songs for recitals. Uh, the back country was pretty frustrating. Yeah. Honestly. Uh, as simple as all the rhythm parts saying, which, are. Which, which songs that Brianna asked you to play? Yes. <laughs> that one, the, it's, the rhythm parts are actually pretty simple. They're just very fast. Right. Which was the first, oh, and oh, the, the Metallica and, song and the we did. Rhythm of everything fitting. Yeah. Uh, what did we do? Uh, Seek and Destroy. Because mm, mm -hmm. the, the middle section of that yeah. is fast. Not the rest of it, but there's that little, like, would be the bridge, basically, of Seek and Destroy. It's fast. It's fast. I was like, that was cranking. Yeah, that was intense. It was cool, but it was like, 
to watch and it's awesome to listen to once it's done yeah but uh, yeah that that, that one, was that one had a lot of aggravation i heard from the other room yeah that going on yeah now not <laughs> the rest of it but just that one fast section of seek and destroy because it's like oh, okay man i completed 90 percent speed but at full like it's like 220 something mm -hmm. it's cooking like when it gets yeah. to that part gas the one that i haven't ever finally done i've always I've worked on an off and on over mm -hmm. the years is uh, Mr. Crowley. Oh gosh. <laughs> Mr. Crowley. I could play bring all the rhythm parts. It was the mm -hmm. solos. Like I learned I think mm -hmm. I learned the second solo to Mr. Crowley, but I've never I've never actually fully completed it. Right. And like I know that I can because I've played harder things now at this point. I've played more difficult things. Right. So I just need to knuckle down and just go in and, and just do it. And do the work. But Yes. Yeah. So yeah, those are the ones for me, for sure. For sure. For sure. Thank you, Walking Dead. Great question. Oh, final question, I think. Oh, no, no. Now we have three more questions. I need to go. Yeah, I need to go. Right. And we're back. <laughs> magic of television. I had to take a break. The magic of editing. <laughs> it's not a couple of hours later. No. It's literally just... One hour. Seconds. <laughs> seconds. Uh, next question, Frankie Chan, uh, I included this question just to have a little chat about something. Mm -hmm. I kind of answered his question in an email, but I said, mm -hmm. uh, no crush strings, hashtag. Thanks for the call. I finally got it, but I'm awfully confused. I don't think this is a Hellraiser extreme that I expected. Hope you can help. Serial number is blah, blah, blah. 2011, South Korea, however, it's not set neck. It's not, it's set neck, not neck through. Mm -hmm. The long story short. So Frankie got a Hellraiser Extreme Solo 6 in trans black with a maple fretboard like is on my bucket list that I have not been able to acquire. He found one at like a pawn shop or something in Straya. Oh. Mm -hmm. Down under. It comes from a land down under. And he uh, he got it. Had some things going like, you know, tuning pegs need to be, or tuners need to be replaced on one or two of them. He said, but it's not, something's not right. So, you know, normally the Hellraiser Extremes have a literally a neck through. It's one piece of wood all the way through the body, and the neck's one thing. I was like, well, send me some pictures, because it's hard to it's hard to tell, you know, what's going on. Right. So he did send me some pictures, and I got to look at him like, nope, it's a Hellraiser Extreme, but it is definitely a set neck. And then my thought was, like, it's probably a prototype. Of course, he emailed, he's like, oh, it says proto on the headstock. I'm like, ah. Oh. There you go. There you go. So it is a. That's still pretty special. Well, actually, it's super unique because you know that's what. See me doing <laughs> the things I do. Prototype is you know they had an idea, and they you know send that idea to the factory like hey we want to do this, just to get the general idea of it, and you know that's why it's called a prototype. It's a test run. So there's probably not very many of prototypes. I mean they'll they'll make one two three four, maybe five, just to kind of solidify the look and can the factory produce it the way we want it to come out right right so frankie mm -hmm. yeah is the prototype now mm -hmm. it's not a neck through like the final production run which right. are like my my hellraiser extremes obviously neck throughs but uh in a way it's really kind of even more unique frankie because right even though it does not have the neck through option it's set neck it's still it's still maybe one of very few, very? and the other prototypes, there's probably a couple other prototypes floating around, but they're probably not exactly the same as yours. Right. So the fact that you got a proto is pretty cool, and uh, something to keep in mind. Ooh, if you get a guitar amazing. that you can't, it looks like it's this, but it's kind of different. Of course, it was marked proto. Most of the time they are usually marked somehow prototype, but yeah. Pretty cool. And then he asked about, he needed uh, two locking tuners, as one is missing, and one of the knobs looks bent probably replace all four knobs any good sources for the locking tuners because they are sh labeled Schecter. Ooh, you slip with the tongue right there you gotta shoot a monkey watch. in the face you gotta watch your mouth i don't know how to make dolphin noises <laughs> well you're not a dolphin so. 
Schechter. I mean, as far as I know, the only way to get Schechter locking tuners is to contact Schechter. So you can contact them via email, you know, on their website. I've gotten one before because I had a Solo 6 that I got. Uh, the Solo 6 Custom, and it had purloid tuners okay. locking. Mm -hmm. I remember that. because it Now, those are a little bit harder to find because the purloid buttons versus just regular chrome buttons. Okay. Purloid. Hmm. Pearl oid. Perloid. <laughs> per Perler. 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 So I contacted Schechter and, and they're like, oh yeah, we got a couple of those. Those are very hard to find. They only had a couple of Perlard Burtons left. So they sent me two for my guitar. Thank you very much. Yes. My guy, the tech at Schechter, who watches our channel. There is a Schechter tech who watches our channel. Hey. Very cool. Very so cool. excited. But yeah, so I just contact them if you want if you want the Schechter logo locking tuners. Other than that, I mean, you can just replace them with whatever but. all right thanks for the question frankie we kind of solved his problem via email earlier this week but right. i didn't want to mm -hmm. address it in the video because i thought you guys might find it interesting i did yeah. next question rdt275 mm -hmm. rdt i almost said rtd i don't know why rdt rdt <laughs> <laughs> hashtag no crusty strings can you compare the cmg ashley versus gibson Less or Epiphone Les Paul versus PRS S2 single cut P L A Z. Pulls. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, I can do that because I own a CMG Ashley. Actually, we have two CMG Ashleys. And I do have a Gibson Les Paul standard and some Epiphone Les Paul. Keeps Pauls going. <laughs> and, and PRS S2 and. PRS SE single cut. I mean, yeah. And I, I only have two ukuleles. But you have some guitars. Some guitars. Anyways. I can compare those now. <laughs> uh, the, the problem will be on the two Ashleys that we have. One was just a standard production, you know, the $800 no frills mm -hmm. Ashley. Mm -hmm. But I have replaced the pickups with aftermarket pickups. And then we did have some abalone dots. Not baloney dots, but abalone dots. Perlard. Perlard. Per <laughs> not perlard. Abalone. <laughs> abalone. <laughs> abalone dots. Abalone. 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 Abalone dots. Yeah. So our stock, Ashley, oh is not stock anymore. <laughs> and then, of course, the other Ashley we have is the limited edition Arnie Music. Only five ever made in production CMG guitar custom limited run. That's how we do it. So it's not, um, you know, it's not a base model one. So yeah. I can compare them, but they'll be kind of not fair comparisons. I'm going to get that guitar so I can have. Okay. Oh look, the magic of editing. Here's Ding. the custom CMG. Ba -ding. <laughs> I can't see the flame in this. Oh, there it is. And that is my S2 PRS. Yeah, you can. Both American Without made. Without glasses on, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, both American made. <laughs> Gotta put guitars in the thumbnails or people won't watch the video. Here you go. Take a picture. That's pretty guitar. That is pretty. I told you you had a blue one. Not a blue Schecter. I don't have a blue Schecter. He's like, I don't have a blue guitar. I'm like, I'm pretty sure you do. I'm pretty sure we own actually two blue guitars. I don't have a blue Solo 6. Oh. Schecter Solo 6 in blue. Oh. I found one for a killer deal on Facebook Marketplace. I'm like... Mm -mm. <laughs> no. 
uh, we Slow didn't roll, we didn't buy it, but I was like, it's only like four hundred bucks. I'm like, oh man, these were like nine hundred dollars when they were new, and like, they haven't made the Solo Six body in a while. I'm like, that's a killer deal. Mm, man, oh, Adam Mark, <laughs> Adam, go buy it. You thought I was gonna poop. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh no, oh, edit no. magic of editing. <laughs> okay. So, what you say to me, Pat? Uh, Pat's trying to talk to you. That's weird. Dang it, Pat. I didn't ask anything. See, Siri is always listening. We didn't even say. That's why I say I need more money. Hey. Hey Siri. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? Uh huh. Hey Siri, I need more money. One option I found is Texas Banker and Trust on South Trade Days Boulevard. Do you want that one? <laughs> Siri wants me to rob a bank. Do you want me to rob a bank, Siri? I didn't get that. Could you try again? <laughs> it was your suggestion, Siri. Oh gosh. Okay. okay. Moving on. Moving on. Next question and final question. Oh wait. Yes. No, because I was going to answer that one. Okay. Just fun guitar. Next to final question. Mm -hmm. Just fun guitar. Hashtag okay. KTMA. Hashtag Crusty Strings. Hashtag Texans. Would you go off the grid if there was a civil war again and could world peace be secured with a shred off? Ooh. Uh, so first half of the question. Would first half. Would we go off the grid if there was a civil war again? No. No, I don't think you can. I gotta have air I, conditioning. No, because I want to fight. And you gotta communicate with the other factions oh yeah so you could i'm not gonna hide i ain't that kind of person you're gonna go up to the mountains and hide mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> no we do have some guns yeah so. i'm going straight for it I'm, yeah. not, I'm not gonna hide no we won't go off the grid uh can world peace be secured with a shred off no way because first of all, I don't think any of the world leaders can shred. <laughs> That'd be really awesome. But if they appointed their own shredder champion per country, <laughs> you know, <laughs> from Japan we have you know what is it? Marty Friedman Japan? because he lives in Japan, even though he's American, but he lives in Japan. So yes. what do you play for them though? Oh, that's a good question. It'd be like the Olympics. Yeah. The Olympics of Shred. And at the end, whoever was the gold medalist, and of course you have to have neutral countries, which I think we only have like maybe... Switzerland. Like four. Yeah. Nobody's, like total nobody's neutral, neutral countries. Um, be the judges. You'd have to. But uh, can the judges shred? See, the judges would have would to be shreds. Would have shreds. to be shred doctors. They'd have to be shredders as PhDs. well. PhDs. Because people with inferior talent, how do they get to judge? Right. Can you be an accurate judge if you don't have as much talent? Based on goosebumps. Based on... Yeah. Who are these Olympic judges? Can they swim faster than Michael, Michael Phelps? No. Have you seen the judges? <laughs> the, the gymnastic, them are overweight. The, the gymnasty judges? Yes. No. Most of the gymnastic judges are overweight. Yeah. Like most coaches are like, why are you telling me to lift now, weights, Now, if they're coach? like Mary Lou Retton is a judge, yeah. Nadia Comaneci is a Former judge. Former Olympian gold, gold medalist. medalist. Gold medalist should be the judges. Yes. But no, I don't think that we could solve world peace because music is so... Um, Divisive. Yeah. <laughs> honestly. Have you seen... Yeah, I think it would have cause another world Have you seen these competitions? <laughs> like there are competitions online. Hey, everybody enter a shred thing and we're going to give away this guitar and you'll get a thousand entries and everybody's like... That guy sucks. Why did he win? Yeah. I should have got first place. Oh, he's still feeling. He's more what? You should have had B.B. King could have played. He would have had more feeling in one note than Jeff Loomis in all 7,000. You know. Now, that would create more wars. There would be more wars because of the shreds than world peace. So exciting. Thank you, Just Fun Guitar. Next and final question. Thank you, Lord. Jared Clements. If I wanted a Schecter E1 and you did not have it in stock, then would you order it and set it up for me? Hopefully a setup comes free or at a discount on a new guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, yes. Mm -hmm. I did answer that and I was like, yeah. yeah. If we're a dealer, yes. like we are Schecter dealers, 
Right. And if we have, if there's a Schecter that somebody wants that we don't have on hand, mm -hmm. if they want to purchase it from us, yes. you may purchase the guitar from us and then mm -hmm. we will order it from Schecter and then Schecter will send it to us and then we will check it out. I'm, I'm shipping a guitar today. Sold the guitar yesterday. I'm shipping one today. I'm putting on new strings and I'm cleaning it up and I'm double checking it and doing all that kind of stuff. I even asked the guy, what kind of strings you want? He's like, oh, I'll use nine. So I'm like, all right, I'll put some nines on it. That just... That's just how we do it. I don't charge extra for setting up the guitar that we ship out to a customer. Cause you should just double check that just, mm -hmm. just because. So, but yeah, if there's a certain company, if we are a dealer for said company and it's a current production right. model, we can get it. Right. <laughs> Somebody the other day asked me, could you order this Epiphone for us? I'm like, no, I'm not an Epiphone dealer. I mean, just buy it from, XYZ right. store. Things, thing about others. Do we give you the money and you buy it from them? I'm like, why would you give me the money to buy it from another store? And I don't know, money's not going to come to me. I'm yeah, not yeah, take it's, I'm just doing work it's for you. It's just going to pass through my hands. Yeah, yeah. Why? But yes, so if you want a current production 2020 model checker and they have, they have it in stock, they're back ordered on a few things, we okay. can get it. But you got to pay first. It's like Angela's crochet stuff. I'm not going to order it and then, because I, I have to pay a checker for it. Mm -hmm. And then get it here, and you're like, oh, no, I don't want it. And I'm like, what am I going to do with this guitar that I already paid for? Yeah. So, but yes, we can Not order guitars. Not that Jared would do that. Not that Jared Jared's would do that. I don't think he would guy. do that. He's a great guy. He's an awesome stand-up person. Yes. But I, I don't know. Probably. More Most likely. likely. If you're watching us, you if probably watch, are. Yeah, if you watch our channel, you're probably all right. Of course, we've had some ding-along, ding-dongs. Ding-alongs. <laughs> Ding-a-ling and ding-dongs. <laughs> sting a ling and ding-dongs. But I'm sure Jared's not one of them. He's the stand-up guy. No, yeah. We get, impressively, we got 1,100 views on last week's video and no we, thumbs down. We have some really just amazing viewers. We have, y'all are just like that top-notch, top-shelf group. Yeah. Well, yeah. Lot, like kind draws like kind. Yes, Don't that's you? true. Don't you know and that? I, this is so true. <laughs> If you are if you are a fan of Nietzsche, you you like that kind of stuff, and yeah. you know. But yes, I to We're say amazing. that is that I we greatly appreciate our y'all amazing people out there. Some of you who we've never seen ever and don't even know what you look like in three D. Yes, and those of you who we have seen, like Scott, who lives in Dallas. Yeah, went to Whataburger with Scott one day. Hopefully, one day. We can have like a guitar convention, a guitar, a guitar, Another a guitar gu a convention. convention. Yes. And y'all come and, and fly visit. in from fly all over the world. From, just to... yes. We'll have to have it like a really amazing lineup or you can just look, talk to us in person. Yeah. Have a live Ask RNA. In studio. Like, live like a Phil Donahue show. Remember when he walk around and we'd have like. You know, Adam That's Lamar question. walk around the audience and ask. <laughs> <laughs> Adam's got the mic. Adam, that would be so amazing. <laughs> that would be just the best thing be like, in the no, whole entire you. world. <laughs> not you. you. I can see that. I he'd be like, he'd be that. like, dude, that's a dumb question. Ask another question. <laughs> yeah, you would. Now, in my mind, I saw Adam walking around with the microphone with a giant beard. I did too. Adam. So as soon as Adam grows back an epic beard, then he'll be allowed to be our. He can be the MC <laughs> of our questions. All right, thank you guys so much. That was the last question. If you watch this whole video from beginning to end, yeah. I think we're slightly shorter than an hour. Yeah, so uh, good. Super secret hashtag of the day. Type in the hashtag with uh, your question and or comment, or just by itself, and we'll know that you watched the whole thing. That's just a little thing for us and you guys and. A mm -hmm. little inside mm -hmm. thing that we do. Ding a ling, ding a ling, ding dong. Secret hashtag of the day is. Hashtag. Hashtag. Some of y'all probably think of ones. How about this? <laughs> we had to Yell, of yelling so. at the screen. Don't go in there. Don't go into the long grass. Hashtag Schechter. Because we had two Schechter questions. Yes. How about that? That let's, works. Let's just give them a shout out. And I like Schechter and they like me. Well, some of them do. The guy who didn't, he's got fired a long time ago. We're not going to bring that We're up, gonna, are we? No, it's good. It's a bad story. Everybody's currently there is super awesome. We, and I like them. Short story. We love Schechter. Okay. 
So hashtag Schechter. Let's wrap that up. Hashtag Schechter. <laughs> Open mouth hashtag, and foot. <laughs> it should have been hashtag Perlerd. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. We're going to change it. Hashtag Perlerd. Perlerd dots. Not dots, but just hashtag Perlerd. And uh, <laughs> we'll know you watch the whole thing. Ermagerd Perlerd. <laughs> <laughs> Bonus points for hashtag Schechter if you want. But yes. yeah, the real one, the secret one is hashtag Perlerd. Yes. And we will uh, know you guys and gals watch the whole thing. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, keep the music alive. Don't forget it. Music needs you. And you need the music, guys. Come on. So, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Yep. Oh, did I, did I finish that? No. Nope. What was the next thing I was supposed to say? <laughs> and you need the music. And you need the music. <laughs> and we need to keep it alive for the next generation. Yes. <laughs> You're not who you say you are. Come on, son. Do not do Ed Lover on me, Sean. This is going to be challenging. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, son. Come on, son. When you swipe my ultra bright while I was on the dance floor getting my freak on. Who the hell is Ed Lover? Come, Come on, on, son. Come on, son. You tell him. Come on, son. Get out of here with that boy. Right. You trip me. Oh, come on, son. You trip me. You come on, son. 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 Ah, ah. Good boy, son. <laughs> and we'll see y'all in the next video. All right, we gotta go. Bye, guys. Bye. See, shh, see you later, alligator. Turn, 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 turn. After a while, crocodile. Good boy, son. Good boy, son.